Hi everybody, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create simple rotating text animation. Lately a lot of you guys have been asking me how I create this text animation on my portfolio website. So I thought maybe I should make a video about it. It's really simple. So let's start. Okay, I have created two files. One is index.html and the other one is style CSS. So we want to create the body of the HTML, just generating plain HTML5 document, and I'm going to link the style as CSS file into it. So now let's first create a container for our animation. Then let's create the paragraph with uh, wordings, of course, you can change this to whatever you want to use. I'm going to write, I'm a uh, uh, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript master. So we're going to need a text wrapper paragraph, and let's create the rotating text span. So this is the element which we are going to rotate in our animation. So let's create the pieces of the animation that are going to rotate exactly. So we have blue text CSS, we have orange text which we're going to handle HTML and red text which will be JavaScript. So this is going to rotate these three words. And let's add at the end of the sentence master. So it's going to be I am a CSS master, HTML or JavaScript master. Okay, let's see our HTML uh, page. It's plain text without any formatting. So let's format it. I'm going to use Roboto text, but you can use whatever you want. Let me put some body styles here. I'm going to reset to margin zero and uh, I'm going to use that Roboto font, which I just imported there. Also, I'm going to align all the text to center and let me put some paragraph styles uh, I'm going to reset to zero so that all the text is nicely enclosed as you can see now so let let me style container we want to give it a color of uh, gray it's uh, 999 then we want to align the text actually uh, Actually, the text is already aligned to the center, so we want to transform it to uh, uppercase so that we have all the letters uppercase. We want to give it a font size of 36 pixels and font weight bold. We want it to be bold and nice, to, be, to have a lot of impact. Let's give it some padding on top, 20 pixels padding, and to take the width of 100%. Okay, let me see our changes. Okay, it's much nicer now. So now we want to style the, the wrapper of our text. Let's uh, give it a height of 50 pixels and overflow hidden so actually that we only see one word not all three words now let's style the rotating text this is the part where we are gonna put the animation so rotating uh, span these these are the three elements which are going to rotate exactly so we want to give it a color of uh, white color because the background is going to be different for every one of these and we want to give it some padding so it's nice, nice little box. We want to give it a height of 45 pixels, also margin bottom 45. And we want to give it a display block because in order to apply all of these settings, it needs to be a block in order to apply width and height. So we want to width 250 pixels and let's see how it looks like. You cannot see text because it's white right now. So let's give the background to our text elements. Blue text, let's give it a background color and let's use the picker to select the blue color. This looks nice, okay. Let's create the background color for orange text. Background color, 
let's use a picker again it's really easy to select the color this one a little bit darker okay that's the one and let's create for the last text tag red text again let me use the color picker for selecting the red color let's save the file and let's look how it looks like okay it's nice blue color for css now we want to uh, give it an animation settings so we want to rotate the text to display block and let's give it a definition for our animation which we are going to define in a second so animation is going to be called a rotate it's going to last five seconds it's going to be a linear and infinite so it's going to be infinite animation so let's now define the keyframes of our application of sorry of our animation it's called rotate and we're basically setting here percentages of our animation so we want to start at a position at minus uh, we are going to use transform uh, because it's it's uh, better for performances and translate uh, we want here uh, to move to minus 160 this is a vertically position so it's going to go up then on on the next percentage we want you to move it uh, to 160 you want to play around with all of these settings and once you're comfortable and once you're satisfied with all the positions you can save it so uh, first thing is that uh, the zero is the position the first position of the animation and uh, the last one uh, obviously should be a hundred percent so 66% uh, uh, is at the middle of the animation let's put it to 54 and uh, let me copy that and put the last position which should be again 160 pixels it should reset to back to the same position so let's see what we got what we have okay so it's moving but it doesn't hold the text and it's rotating so it doesn't show the, the last uh, actually the first element which is CSS so we want to add that as well first we want to give it from 5% to 33% basically to hold the same word so it needs to be the same value in order to somebody to see what we're actually uh, saying in, in our sentence so from 5% to 33% is going to be 106 pixel from uh, translated and transformed then we want to get to the next word and uh, use a 38% minus 54 and until the 66% of the animation is going to stay at that word then we want to get to the next word which is which is going to be at 71 percent and we're going to give that to zero which is our first css word and until 71 to 99.9 percentage is going to be zero and at 100 percent we are going to reset to minus 160 let's see what we got final result that looks cool to me Awesome. As you can see, that is so simple to do, but yet it's really effective. If you like this video, again, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on other social media like LinkedIn and Twitter. I post different tips daily, so it can be useful for, for net developers. And that's all from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.